Hey, good morning, back to basics. This is Tanya, VSG Tanya 2011, and I am coming to talk about um, our this week's subject, which is um, body and how we feel about our bodies. And um, the question is, before weight loss surgery, um, did you love your body? How did you show your body love at that time? Um, now that you're post-op, do you love your body, and how do you show your body love? And I kind of have a, a, a third part, which is post-plastics. How do you, you know, do you love your body, and how do you show love? So, um, I'd say before weight loss surgery, I, I didn't, I can't say I love my body. And, um, in many ways, I almost tried to not acknowledge my body. Um, I did not eat well. I did not really exercise. I had the whole factor of, um, having the psoriatic arthritis. And so in many ways that would make me mad at my body because I couldn't do things that, um, I thought I should be able to do. Um, like exercise in a certain way. Um, I didn't exercise really or like all um, pre-op. I did phase, I went through phases, but I, I didn't really feel good enough and it didn't, it didn't feel good. So I just didn't do it. Um, so I can't say that I love my body and I can't say that I showed my body a whole lot of love. I, I pretty much tried to ignore my body pre-op. Um, Post-op, after having BSG, um, of course, I changed my diet, and I think by nourishing it properly, um, that's a good way that I was showing it love. Um, even though I didn't, I still didn't love my body. Um, I was ho more hopeful for it, you know. And about two weeks after um, BSG, I started walking, and I committed to getting healthy that way and showing my body love that way. Um, and I did uh, consistently, you know, five, six days a week. Um, you know, sporadically there were weeks in there that I didn't get that much in. But um, I was committed to changing my body. Um, and over time, as I lost all the weight that I lost, um, I don't know if I came to love my body, but I came to like it a lot more. And... Um, you know, like the way I looked in clothes and, and that kind of thing. Um, but because I was still having to wear shapewear to hide the lumps and the bumps, um, I still didn't love my body. And I did not realize until after I had the abdominoplasty how much I still disliked my body. Um, I didn't avoid mirrors like I used to before surgery. I did look at myself. I spent a lot of mirror time and, you know, selfie time and things like that. Um, but that was mostly with clothes on. And, um, the only time I really looked at myself with no clothes on was right before shower time and right after. And it was like, ugh. again, kind of avoiding mirrors. Or if I wasn't avoiding mirrors, I was, uh, analyzing how good or bad a particular area looked. Which I think is human nature to do that. Um, but I didn't realize until after I had the abdominoplasty and the apron was gone and I was so pleased with what I saw, that's when I realized how unhappy I was prior. So it's strange to be, you know, I was two years out and I still didn't realize how much I disliked my body. Um, now after plastics, of course, I have new things to look at. I have new little imperfections, um, from the surgery, but I can say that I am so much, um, happier with my body now. Um, my arthritis was hurting real bad right before surgery and since then it hasn't. So I'm thankful for that. Um, and I just feel a whole different perspective on how I... Even though I don't, I don't feel like I look that different um, in my clothes, um, I feel so much more appreciative of what I have now. And how do I show my body love? I show my body love a lot in a lot more ways than I did before um, weight loss surgery. I am committed to eating right, um, you know, 80 to 90% of the time. Of course, we always have, you know, little treats here and there. Um, I still exercise consistently. Um, it may not be five or six days a week, 
maybe more like three or four days a week, but I am committed to the exercise. Um, I do strength training now, um, things that I never would have dreamed of before. You know, I always thought I would just do cardio, I would just do walking, um, different kinds of classes and things like that. But um, now I, I do more strength training and actually working on definition of parts of my body that I that would have never even been a factor before weight loss surgery because what's the point of defining something that you can't even see, right? Um, my exercise now too isn't really to control my weight. I don't think of it that way at all anymore. I think of it as um, being healthy and being able to walk long distances, being able to lift more weights, being able to be healthier and stronger and cardiovascular health, um, taking care of myself that way. I'm more consistent with taking my vitamins. I've, I've con I took vitamins before weight loss surgery, um, but um, now I'm way more consistent with it. I, I take them daily. Um, it's just part of my routine to keep my body healthy. And I respect my body a lot more now than I did before weight loss surgery. I don't think I had very much respect for it at all. It, it, it was a... Uh, I can't think of the right way to describe it. It was a um, requirement. I had to have one <laughs> and I got stuck with a crappy one. That's how I felt. And now I feel like I'm more in control of my body and how it looks and how it feels. And I'm more hyper aware of um, lots of things. If I gain a couple of pounds, I can feel it. Before weight loss surgery, I couldn't even feel it if I gained a few pounds. I didn't even acknowledge it. Um, if I lost 10 pounds before, I, I couldn't feel it. If I, lost, if I lose 5 pounds now, I can feel it. So I'm way, way more hyper aware of my body now. Um, I'm more in tune and in touch with um, how it feels and how what I do affects it. So I think that's all I have to say on the body part. I, I, coming to love your body is a really hard thing, especially if you were overweight your entire life and disliked your body your entire life. So coming to a point where you become happy with your body and you begin to really love it, I think for me is a really strange place to be. It doesn't feel totally natural. It feels really strange. <laughs> I can't think of another word to say, but it, it, it's, it's odd to be at the age I am and just now becoming happy with um, my body. But I hope that over time, it's going to become more of a norm for me and not such an oddity, you know. So, uh, y'all go out and have a fabulous week. And I'll be back in a couple weeks with a new topic. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.